is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. <laughs> hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. We're closing in on this uh, nice July 4th holiday. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 136, NASDAQ up 102, SP's up 26, gold contract down $2.80, trading at $12.56 an ounce, silver flat $16.06, light sweet crude up 84 cents, $73.78. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year note up three ticks, 120.11, 30 year bond up six, 145.22. Bottom line, folks, pretty amazing. Uh, we had the jobs number comes out, good jobs number, market's digging it. Bottom line, though, these notes and bonds, they keep buying them. And um, that's saying that rates are going to go lower um, because there's more demand for the notes and bonds than there are supply. King dollar, king dollar down 473 ticks, trading at 93.750. The euro is at 117.46 to 1 U.S. dollar. The yen is at 110.5 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wonder what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We got a SPY that's trading up $2.50. You get 38 million shares trading. Bottom line, you're going into 97 million. We'll see whether this uh, holds up coming into the close. If we do go over and we take a look at the E-minis first, what you're going to see is that they've been basically hanging up here since uh, they... They fired up uh, from 9 o'clock to 11.20. They've been hanging up at these highs since 11.20. So your top tick thus far is 27.65 flat out, and we are right next to it right now. So I expect what we more than likely we're going to do. We're going to test it before we get into the close, and we'll see whether it's going it get, it get, to it's gonna hold. Um, the, uh, that's on your S&Ps. We go into the uh, NQs. We take a look at the NQs, the NASDAQ 100. NQs right now are trading up $104. Big number, wide price spread. Um, when we had come down on the 25th, you came down from the uh, 72.22 level. Well, bottom line is that you're over it. Um, and the Qs, bottom line, uh, the Qs are saying that they want to get into these highs once again. So this is going to be wild watching the Qs because the correlation, well, let's do the Dow next. The correlation is that the Dow Industrials, as well as the S&P 500, is much weaker than the NASDAQ and the NDX 100. The Dow Industrials, that has nothing going for it. It's up $134. Dow, uh, we're trading 24490 The Dow has, was 26600 in January, January 26th. And thus far, you can, that very well could have been uh, the high. We take a look at the uh, SPY or the S&P. You're going to see the same setup in the SPY. Bottom line right now, we're at 27.60. In January, we're at 28.72. So you're about 110 points higher. Whereas, if we go into the composite, you take a look at this composite, the composite bottom line is at its highs. The, the high in the composite, uh, let me get this. The high in the composite, NASDAQ composite, this is, is uh, only two weeks ago, 78. 
06. Right now you're at 76.89, and uh, yeah, 76.89 is over everything. So bottom line is that that has game to go back into those highs. If we go into the NDX 100, and you look at the NDX 100, uh, same type of setup. NDX 100, the high was generated out here on the 20th. We were at uh, 73.09, and we're at 72.09 right now. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness, this is what you have out here today. Uh, Biogen is the firepower. Biogen is up 20%, uh, or $57. They came in uh, with a, a really great test for Alzheimer's disease. Um, big juice inside of that. Dish Networks is up 4.5%. You got Baidu up 3.5%, and Gilead's up 3.2%. In fact, looking at the NDX 100 right now, this is pretty impressive. There's not one stock inside the S&P 500, I mean, inside the NDX 100, that is in the negative. Tesla is flat. Um, what was different for Tesla out here today, and, you know, inside the, the Wall Street analyst community, folks, you never see this happen. Um, they actually put a sell on Tesla. Uh, you know, you see it happen, but it's so unusual. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, but that's what you have out here today. Let's see. Who, who put Tesla stock? So here you go. Uh, there's 32 analysts uh, that are covering Tesla right now. These are Wall Street analysts. 10 say sell. Um, or 32% of that. And bottom line is that uh, you just you don't see that happen. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild uh, in, in general. So... Tesla also still has a 29% shot position, so it's a monster shot position. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract still needs to catch a bid. Uh, bottom line, sideways move out here. You're down 260. You're trading at 1256. If we do go over to the dollar, now what we've had is this, is that when the jobs number come out this morning, uh, bottom line, dollar goes, goes south. You get 19,000 contracts. Now, that's decent contract volume for a slow day. It's not... Great, but it's what it, is, what it is saying is that the dollar wants to get back into the $92, 92.83 area. Uh, we'll see whether we get any uh, volume on that move. But thus far, it looks like it's just turning over once uh, into that lower price. We go take a look at the uh, opposite correlation, euro. Euro wants higher price. Uh, bottom line, euro's uh, making its way into the swing point up there from the uh, uh, $1.18 uh, dollar, dollar area. The 30-year bond is saying quite a bit, and this is what it's saying. So the 30-year bond, we had a high volume swing point. Uh, bottom line, we are at that high volume swing point today, and it looks like we're going to basically hold it. Uh, the high volume swing point is at 145.28. Right now, we went to 146.11. We're at 145.23. Bottom line, looks like it's going to basically hang up there. Uh, when we come back to work next week, more than likely you're going to see it go for that area once again. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 134. NASDAQ is up 102. s and are up 25. We'll come right Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now up 122. Nasdaq's up 100. SPs are up 25. Percentage wise, out here, what you have, folks, you have the Dow Industrials uh, up one half a percent. NASDAQ uh, is up 1.3%. The S&Ps are up 9 tenths of 1%. Let's go over to the uh, couple of these gold stocks. So we're going to start with Royal Gold. Uh, Royal Gold made a nice run this week. And what you're going to see here um, is pretty intense. Uh, you know, we ran all the way up to uh, 98.53 uh, yesterday. Big number. Had volume behind the move. Now, when we take this and put this on a weekly, what you're going to see is that we took out a swing point, a swing point that it has been trying to take out for a while, September 8th of 20,000, the week of September 8th. Now, you took it out with volume and big volume, and that's in a vacation week, which is really cool, actually, because we've done 2.2 million versus 1.8. That being said, it looks like we're going to close under the swing, which is 94.39. Bottom line. When you take a swing point out with volume, you go right back topside. So um, I want to see some basically movement next week on this baby. But uh, the way this is set up right now, it still wants higher price. If we go into the uh, monthly, what you're going to see is that it's going after its high. The high uh, in real gold is $100.84. This week, we made it to $98.53. And bottom line, they did sell it off at that particular point. So we'll see how that ends up shaking out. If we go into the GDX, what you're going to see with the GDX, GDX right now, sideways move. What did happen yesterday, which is pretty cool, we got volume again. We got volume with 39 million shares come in. That's a good number. We put this on a weekly basis. What you're also going to see is that you, get, you have price spread going with you. And for vacation week, we have volume, which is really impressive. So this GDX right now, bottom line, wants to run up to the 2330. Right now you're 2270, as well as... I expect the swing point up here in January, uh, the week of January 26th, which is up there at 24.26. If we take a look at the XAU, same type of setup in the XAU. XAU bottom line is flat out here today, $83.76. We put that on a weekly. You're also going to see you had that nice price spread. We did have volume come in uh, for vacation week because uh, bottom line is that we've got more volume in this vacation week than we have. Uh, and just normal weeks, okay? So it's a big number. Uh, inside the Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup. Gold Bugs Index is trading flat out here today, 178. Uh, not as strong as the XAU. That's the bottom line. Uh, 
So that's going to get intriguing to see, okay, uh, are we going to be basically uh, getting some flack from um, a couple of the solid gold stocks inside the gold bugs index versus the XAU. So if we go to the Barrick Gold, uh, Barrick Gold right now flat, $13.38. What's not saying much? Newmont, which is the largest weighting structure uh, inside the GDX. We put this on a weekly. This is not saying much either. Yeah. Well, we're going to need more juice, man. That's the bottom line. You know, a lot of these... Uh, uh, let's go take a look at uh, an Eco Eagle. An Eco Eagle broke topside yesterday. Okay, that's it's hanging up there. So an Eco Eagle did break uh, the swings. We right now at forty six ninety eight. That baby swing points forty nine. Yeah, it's going for forty nine. This is impressive. Bottom line, we still need big buyers inside the uh, gold market. Uh, inside the metals market in general. 877-927-6648. Let's go over to the oil market. So in the oil market uh, out here, you talk about fluctuation. Today we went from 72 up to 73.93. We take a look at this because what has happened is still there's still a big disconnect between physical oil and the XLE. The, the XLE bottom line is up 58 cents right now. Can't get any traction going when what oil did out here today, it rejected lower price at 72. It's trading 73.79. It actually did have lighter volume on the pullback. And <laughs> this, <laughs> this baby here, it looks to me like it's going to go run for the 77 area once again. And if we take a look at this, this is what you're going to see is that it's the 75 to 77 area that will give it a bit of flack. There's some resistance there. But if we make it through that area, get out of the way. We're going to be spending a fortune because that area that we're talking about, you have the, the $75 price point, folks, is the lows from August of 2011 through October of 2011. The 77 area is just one month. It's June of 2012. That's giving them a little flack here. If we dig into those numbers, let's picture that if, if this goes at the 75, push it to 77, your probability goes much higher that somehow we're going to go up to $107. Cause, because we had come down so fast, we went from $107 in June of 2014, and by March of 2015, you're at $42. So when you get on that fast, bottom line is there's not much in, in, in the way in order to basically go topside. Now, that being said, the disconnect inside the XLE is pretty amazing, actually. You know, you're talking about uh, oil coming off lows, and yet the XLE is still trading where it was trading in 2007. That's all about ExxonMobil and Chevron. They both can't get out of their way. So we'll see where that shakes out. If we get into the uh, financials, we get into the XLF. XLF out here today, also having a problem. That's up 15 cents. Bottom line, is not much juice behind this. And uh, what this is all about, it looks like what it's all about. You have this consolidation that's been in place since December of 2017. Uh, it's hitting the bottoms of this consolidation with volume. It looks like it wants to break it. Uh, and that aspect there would be that these spreads are not moving in the bank's favor, meaning the uh, between the two, the five, and the 10 year. JP Morgan right now up 51 cents. Bottom line, your high volume low, uh, 103.98 is still hanging down at that price. Let me put this on a monthly and just take a look at it. Actually, we do it on a weekly. Yeah, this looks like it wants to go to $97. The, the, when it broke topside, it went from 97 to 106. Once you pull back inside that 106, which we did, you get uh, this $97 uh, price point uh, is game to get tested. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today, you got uh, GE, uh, GE's up 44 cents. 
We get uh, Twitter is up a buck fifty six. You get fa Facebook, man. Facebook just won't give it up. Facebook, even in how we have pulled back, Facebook just does not want to pull back. It's up five dollars, trading at two hundred three dollars. Biogen's the big number. You get um, Freeport Mac Marin's up forty eight cents. We have um, Marbell is up eight cents. Let's just go over and look at GE just for a second and see if GE has any life at all. Uh, it's got a little life. GE looks like it wants to go test fourteen dollars and forty three cents. So there's there's a little life left left inside of that. Some of the uh, let's go to the king dogs out here. The go up and take a look at Amazon. Uh, Amazon right now trading seventeen hundred thirteen dollars. Pretty amazing. Stay right there, folks. We got our man Mr. Jason Path coming up from the Dutch book. I'm gonna be growling and prowling with Jason. Stay right there, folks. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously develops accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank. Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 139, NASDAQ is up 107, S&Ps are up 26. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jason Path from the DutchBook.com. And folks, uh, Jason not only has a, a great website, he has a great newsletter. Uh, you can come over, uh, get that newsletter right at the DutchBook.com. Uh, in case you are driving in your car, whether it's on the East Coast or the West Coast, uh, you can also join uh, Tommy, myself. Jason is on our morning show at 10.40 on Mondays. He's on my afternoon show at 4.40 on Thursdays. Jason Paff, what's going on, brother? Not much, man. How are you? It's summer, Good. huh? 
It's summer. Hopefully folks it's... are in their car headed to the beach and uh, yep. digesting today's action, man. Quite a day. Yeah, and they get a lot of traffic down Cape Cod right now, no oh, doubt. Man. It's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. It is. It is. There's no doubt. And, you know, having the uh, holiday in the middle of the week, I'm actually surprised. We've, on some of these, we've got some volume, you know? I mean, the markets yeah. are still moving around, but there's some action out here, man. I yeah, it's, it's as much action as, as we'd see in a week. But to your point, it's kind of a funky week with the with the holiday. And e even on a Friday in the summer, even if it's not a holiday week, we're used to thinner volume, uh, you know, in the yes. afternoon. So it's it's been quite a week, man. It's been a lot of fun. So, Hick, first off, can you tell the folks a little bit about yourself? I know we did this in the morning, but an afternoon, you have a little bit different crowd. Yeah, absolutely. So I spent many, many years building forecasts for various agencies, whether in the government or private sector, uh, primarily around you know, economic indicators, revenue for Fortune 500. And then as an evolution of that, really took time to study how when you can model those indicators, how they correlate to the ability for a trader and invest. Yes. I'll get him back. He's out there. The gremlins have him. Okay. You hear me? I got you. The gremlins almost had you. All right. <laughs> no, I started talking math, man. I'm used to it at home. My wife shuts me off when I talk math. So I That's figured this is too was funny. Same. Oh, my God. I yeah. So it. we spent a lot of time you know, modeling major indicators and how those translate to value and opportunity for traders. We're passionate about individual traders. So we start with a macro outlook, uh, you know, take the take the world in and, and use our insight and the expertise we've built over the last 10 years, 10 plus years of, of looking at markets. And then we ingest a tremendous amount of data. And really our forte is on the mathematical quantitative side. We ingest tremendous amounts of data through our proprietary models and just start scanning for opportunity. We look for opportunity hourly, daily, weekly, certainly have a bias towards the short term, um, but we look at long-term opportunity as well with something like Bitcoin we'll forecast out. Right now we have a forecast out through the end of 2018, but we'll back that into monthly, weekly, hourly time slices. So we well, love good. to hey, model let's, quantitative let's data and go ahead. Now, that's, now let's go right – I get your first chart up. And, folks, you can get this newsletter by going right to uh, thedutchbook.com. Uh, so I have Bitcoin up because, you know, what does happen, folks, of course, is that, um, you know, Bitcoin trades 24 hours a day. If you are actually uh, going to tra trade this in uh, the exchanges, well, you can trade it from um, Monday morning to uh, Friday afternoon. So – Tell me what I'm looking at here with Bitcoin. And um, which chart do we have up, Tom? I have I have the the first chart that you have in your newsletter this week. All right. Uh, technical. Uh, I'm getting to it here. Apologize, but just the regular price chart, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we had you know steep downtrend uh, really through all of 2018, almost inverse of the of the work uh, we did on our way up at the end of 2017. What was remarkable to us is the discipline that something as typically undisciplined as crypto showed on that downtrend really through the yes. early summer. I mean, that trend line was steep, but it was also a very disciplined move. We broke out of that, uh, you know, late last week, early this week, and we popped up above 2,600. We had always consistently looked at 5,800 as a near-death experience is what we've been calling it. We have no support of any meaningful level that we can find till you get down to 3,000. That was really the swing low from 2017 that once we touched that in 2017 really propelled us higher. Yes. Um, so we have we have no real support below 5,800. Um, what we saw last week, and it's honestly played out this week, is that that level has also been very. Uh, uh, it's been tested several times. It was actually tested twice last week. Uh, very resilient. So once we saw a bounce off that, as the fundamentals and the data that we scan have continued to incrementally improve. We saw a bounce. We saw 66.75 was the midpoint that we called in the letter this week. I think 67.91 is what the market got to. The midpoint of our, our we forecast the apex for anyone you know looking at a strike in an options market, et cetera. So the high, the max value that we forecast this week was 66.75. I think the market got to 67.91. Pretty amazing, man. $16, yeah. not too bad. 
but they yeah. might have taken when we can get it, man, because not every week works out like that. But uh, the key is the market is really it's it's interesting because crypto is so new and and so different for folks. But there's really some core indicators that we looked at that have stood the test of time. And we've talked about it several times. Volatility. Right. That's ticked yeah. up. There's a very clean correlation right now between the level of volatility and Bitcoin price. Transaction volumes, we monitor those daily, uh, dollars per user, and then, of course, Google search. And all of those have started to tick up over the last couple of weeks. That gave us an indication that 5,800 would hold yet again. Uh, and the market's really been consolidating here through 65.80 and, and 66.90. And uh, we saw that level holding through the week. It has. We believe uh, in a constructive sense it'll continue to incrementally work its way up. And, uh, you know, it remains to be seen where it goes from here. But um, at this level of volatility, we're not going to see just the wild swings that we saw in 2017. But we think 10,000 is reasonable for the end of 2018. Yeah, it's. I love how you do this research, man. I mean, there's so many different things that you put into it. The amazing part is that, as you just said, is like, okay, is it an in-depth experience? Because when these whether it's an equity, a currency, a Bitcoin, it doesn't matter. When they get to the end of the cliff, it's like, okay, you're going to dive off the cliff or not, man. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I mean, that thing. It basically hung tight. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, we will get. So here, can we, I'm going to, I'm going to switch gears with you. I think I want to go. We, you were talking oil inside the uh, inside the letter also. So yeah. what do you th what are you thinking about oil here? I think we're near. We we believe we're near a top, and obviously okay. tops and bottoms in oil are hard to call. Um, but uh, you know, it remains to be seen exactly how much Saudi and Russia can put into the market. But it's clearly above. We know additional tankers have been ordered to Saudi. That'll be August delivery. Uh, we'll be in August before you know it. Um, but we really feel like you know. It, Ballparking a, a top between 73.50 and 75 is is reasonable. The rig counts went up again this week by five after three weeks of declines. There's a lot of noise in the week-to-week -week rig counts, but it's continued to inch its way up. And this week's increase of five, we believe, is material. Um, for exposure to oil, we've been looking at Conoco Phillips. You know, you've got an opportunity in some ETFs. Um, it, it's a challenging market right now just to play the pure commodity given all of the noise in the market. But what we see is on the equity side, folks are able to make a lot of money at a 73 to 75, and the healthiest companies that are able to turn that into cash could be at a clear trade in Q3. Hey, can you just you stay with me another segment? That cool? Yeah, absolutely, man. Awesome. Let's do it. Stay right there, folks. Jason and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 110, NASDAQ up 100, SP's up 24. Jason and I are coming right back, folks. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. 
sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Jason Papp. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Uh, and you can get Jason's newsletter, folks, uh, just by coming over to the thedutchbook.com. And, of course, you can listen to him uh, here uh, this afternoon, Monday at 10.40 a.m., Thursday at 4.40 p.m. Uh, I know uh, I'm going to switch gears on you for a second because my poor gold doesn't want to go anywhere because that dollar will not give it up. So talk to me about this dollar. <laughs> Man, so we're constructive on the dollar. Um, yeah. Dollar's off a little bit this week. Uh, it's even off today. Um, obviously, gold didn't receive any benefit from that. Nope. It's really, a, you know, it's a very fragmented environment right now. When you look at some of the old rules, you know, gold clearly a safe haven. Clearly, we've had tremendous amounts of just ge geopolitical noise and discord. Typically, you'd expect to see a bid. Um, we, we believe long term, the dollar, just given basic things like interest rate differentials, uh, we're very short the Aussie, we're short the yen. We believe as those widen over time, uh, that the dollar will continue to benefit. Uh, again, over time, we really yeah. feel like 100 over the course of the rest of the year is within range. Um, just, again, it's really a two-part phenomenon. Yes, U.S. fundamentals are healthy and healthier than they are in other places. But in some cases, we joke it, the dollar is like the valedictorian at summer school, right? It's as much defined as, as the other currencies around it and the weakness that's there. The euro has been stronger this week. Um, but it was really, you know, curious to us, and this is just one man's opinion, but the euro strengthens off of, you know, like a, a mild report that maybe 2019 might see, we might need to move a, a rate increase in Europe up to 2019. Not typically something that would move markets, but I think markets are just hungry for, you know, some type of action in a currency outside the United States. So. It's as much yeah. to us about weakening in other currencies, inf interest rate differentials, and then the U.S. fundamentals. Again, they continue to plot along and look pretty solid, and we're pretty constructive on the dollar. You know what's going to be interesting, um, Jason, is that, and, and I can see that. I mean, the bottom line, since, um, since April, you know, this has been a move topside, right? Right. Um, the thing that's intriguing is that when you have, whether it's Argentina, that pace, the pesos imploding, uh, the real in Brazil is imploding. Um, as those other currencies start imploding, it's like, okay, what ramifications are we going to have That's right. in the markets in general? Do you know what I mean? It's like... Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and and we we spent and we're actually in this Monday's uh, issue, we're going to have a, a pretty extensive section on EM. I mean, EM to us is just a huge phenomenon right now, um, and again, you get the trade noise layered onto that. But um, you know, to your point, you know, in Indonesia's having problems, even South yeah. Korean currencies having problems. Uh, EM is under tremendous amount of pressure to us right now, and we don't really know 
the ramifications given kind of where we are in the world. Um, and, and the EM story last year was completely different, right? It just, it really turned pretty quickly. Um, so those ramifications, you know, the one thing we can predict with 100% certainty is when they happen, the ramifications will be will be felt. But uh, again, the dollar really remains the, uh, the last resort there in the currency world when those types of things go down. Um, yes. And uh, it'll continue to benefit. Again, what's curious to us is the other safe havens haven't, you know, we, we, we've seen the dollar really become almost a safe haven as, as some of those those ripples have started to happen. And um, we would expect some other, you know, havens to, to benefit as well. We just we just haven't seen it. Um, no, listen, yeah. I, I, you know, I was around when, you know, it, in 1998, when bottom line, you know, the Indonesia imploded and went right to right. Russia, um, you know, long term capital. What had happened, folks, that, that wasn't a big thing like the first couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden it turned into a big thing because long term capital basically had bet on the other side overseas. And it's like, right. OK, so who's holding that paper? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Pretty wild, man. Well, and what we're hearing this time too is, you know, folks will say this time is different because they're they're not as leveraged as they were. They've got more in reserves than they had. Yeah. Anytime, and I know you 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 know this too. Anytime you hear this time will be different. When you see the yeah. same pattern heading in, it rarely is that much different, right? Like it, it, there may be some different consequences, but there's still going to be consequences. And whether or not some of these countries have incrementally more in reserves doesn't mean we're still going to have just massive cascading effects. Um, and and you know what what is also different this time too is, in our opinion, China's China's at a weaker point than they've been in in many many years, and yeah. I don't think we've really rolled that in. Uh, from the market perspective as much as we should have. Um, it's one thing to say they're a little weaker now, but if that trend continues, what that looks like in a year from now, if they continue to slow as they are, that's that's a different world. Uh, folks, I'll put the chart up for you right now. When you see this chart, it's disgusting. I mean, you put the Shanghai up, it's uh, bottom line, you're at 2747, and what you're gonna see if I pull this back, uh, <laughs> This has been so the high in 2015 was 5100 and you're at 2747. It's it's trouble in paradise. Hey, yeah. before I let before I let you go, natural gas. Talk to me about natural gas. Well, it's a tough market. So obviously this week's uh, inventory uh, a little more bearish, but uh, price held pretty steady. Uh, the challenge for us on natural gas is there's there's no real entering next week. Um, there's no real support below us till we get down to the 270s. We really crossed from like 272 to 280 ish on May 10th when we had a pretty bullish storage storage report. Yeah. So if if we go a day or two below, we consider 288 really a pivotal level. Um, unless there's just a massive turn in the weather, um, we think short term it's under a lot of pressure. There's just not a case for it to rise, and yes production raging like it is right now um, and with with little support again most of the move we had from 270 to 280 was on one day in May that could unravel pretty quick pretty amazing you know I used to trade natural gas a lot this is years ago and that's when you had to put up a fortune I think I had to put up 10,000 uh, because it would move so much but you know last four or five years right we're dealing with what 250 to three dollars back right. and forth right yeah. yeah, I mean, we're, we're I, you know, I try and trade it. I want to trade it, but it's just, it's a tough market right now, man. Yeah, yeah there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Well, listen, it, it's always a pleasure uh, getting you, yeah. getting your update. Um, you know, hope you have a, a great weekend, safe weekend. Uh, and I'll be, uh, can't wait to get that newsletter Monday morning and, and see where we're going to be. You know, so. Um, Look forward to it, man. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too, man. Stay cool. Thanks so much. And uh, you can get that newsletter, folks, right at uh, the DutchBook.com. He has, he has some great information, big time. And he'll be right back on with uh, Tommy and me uh, coming this Monday at uh, 20, uh, no, at 40 past uh, 10 in the morning. So uh, kicking off the uh, week. Market-wise out here, so they just sold this Dow down. This is pretty amazing, actually. Uh, uh, they just sold the Dow down from, what are they? Just sold it down from 24,000. They just sold down 100 points. That was quick. Uh, so now your Dow's up by 66. Um, that's intriguing coming into the close. Uh, let's see what uh, who they 
moved first. So uh, Disney is, that, is putting four, four and a half negative points. Caterpillar four, Walmart one. You really can't see uh, what the big number is there, but uh, they certainly, someone just uh, came into that and uh, basically sold that down. Uh, inside the S&Ps, we'll see where that lays out coming into this close right now. Uh, they sold that down too. That just come down uh, basically uh, eight points off the high. Stay right there, folks. Coming back for the last 10, 10 minutes in this beautiful July 4th trading week. Coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 92. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 98. S&Ps are up uh, 21. And we'll see, uh, you know, uh, right when we were just finishing up with uh, Jason there, folks, you did have a, a, a decent sell come in this market. So if we uh, bring the S&P up, what you're going to see, uh, and, and what's intriguing about it, of course, is that we were only in a three-point spread in the S&P from 11.30 this morning. Market goes topside, basically does get some nice juice in it, trades between 27.63 uh, and 27.66. Uh, and then that uh, sell down right when we were coming to uh, finishing up with Jason, uh, someone that sold 44,000 contracts uh, into that S&P, and that uh, bottom line took it right back to the beginning. So how we come into this close, meaning, you know, you're still up 21 bucks, which is decent, but uh, if we only end up being up 15 uh, coming into that close, guess what? That's a sell coming into the close once again. And as I said, the NDX100, strong like bull. 
NASDAQ Composite, yes, yeah, strong light bull. S&P, not even close. Dow, not even close. And what you're going to have in the S&P and the Dow, of course, what you have there is you have the larger equities that uh, bottom line, TAFs, taxes, all of the above. Those are the companies that are going to get hit uh, bottom line. And uh, the train has left the station, folks. So uh, when I say the train has left the station, you, when you're inside uh, a bureaucratic fight, and that's what once the, the fight already started, okay, the torpedoes already went off, meaning the tariffs. Once that starts, let me tell you something. You don't want to be in the middle of it because getting in the middle of it, their fight is a lot easier to basically start than to finish. And what ends up happening, unfortunately, is that when you're halfway through the fight, you forget what it's about at the, be at the beginning anyway. That's where I think we stand uh, with a lot of these um, tariffs that are basically going to come in place. You and you'll see different states get hit, different cities get hit, different people get hit, um, all of the above. Uh, if we end up with tariffs on... Uh, everything that's coming in from China, we'll watch out. Your muzzle better go to the beach and get a bathing suit because everything you're buying is going to be expensive. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it, step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking right back here Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Go get it, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by high highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.